Lady Gaga model thigh high Versace cross boots in Barcelona the head of opening the European leg of her world tour. This Sunday in Barcelona, Lady Gaga will kick off the European leg of her Joanne world tour, which is named after her latest album. But on Friday, already in town before her concert at the Palau San Jordi, Gaga managed to throw back to her previous album A Party P.O.P. The 31-year-old pop star headed to Instagram and showed off the pair of Versace 5 high stiletto boots, which were accented with elaborate cross designs. Gaga, whose Christian name is Stephanie Germonitor, had teamed the footwear with a cleavage-bearing black blazer, as well as the jeweled matching black beret. She accessorized the look with a glinting, barely perceptible necklace, and a multicolored shoulder strap could be glimpsed poking out from under the jacket. Gaga had sent up Donatella Versace the fashion brand's chief designer and the sister of its murdered founder Johnny, in one of the songs from A Party P.O.P. Despite the fact the lyric calls its subject a rich the asterisk 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 and goads her to walk down the runway, but don't puke, Anatella recognized publicity when she saw it. That August, she emailed Just Jarred, I would like to thank Gogo for her geniality, creativity, incredible talent and super the asterisk 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 I am honored to be her friend and of course I love the song. Love, D.B. She and the New York City native have often been photographed together, and Gaga subsequently became the face of Versace's 2014 Spring Flash Summer 80 campaign. There were rumors Gaga would be playing Donatella in American Crime Story, Versace, the Ryan Murphy anthology show season about Johnny's violent end. Though Gaga had previously won a Golden Globe for her part on another of Ryan's anthologies, American Horror Story, the Donatella speculation turned out to be false, and the part is in fact playing played by Academy Award winner Penelope Cruz. Johnny Versace, who launched his company in 1978, was shot dead outside his mansion in Miami Beach in 1997. Eight days later, the culprit, serial killer Andrew Cunanan, committed suicide by gunshot on a houseboat. The new TV telling is based on Maureen Borth's 1999 book Vulgar Favors, Andrew Q. Nonan, Johnny Versace, and the largest failed manhunt in U.S. history.